All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is HD StarCraft, and I'm here for game two of TLO versus Pain User. And so far, this has been amazing. Uh, I love Heart of the Swarm, by the way, guys. I've been playing a lot of HOTS, and uh, hopefully after this set of games, I'll be able to cast some more of my ladder games if I get a chance, if I can get bumped out of Grandmaster, because the players in GM, you know, you're running into Idra, you're running into Rhett, you're running into some Koreans as well. That always freaks me out when you match up against a player who has a Korean handle, so that's pretty scary. And uh, it looks like Pain User and TLO are talking a little bit about the last matchup, how to stop Burrow charging Ultralisks. And I was kind of talking to him a little bit, <laughs> TLO. I already got it all figured out. Hot's going to be awesome. I agree. Um, <laughs> you know what? I, I was talking to Pain User a little bit, and we were thinking, you know, Widow Mines would probably be really, really good against Ultralisks. And the thing about Widow Mines is... They're really expensive, I feel like, for what their cost, what they can do. They're too supply now, and they are, um, they're 75-25 in terms of minerals and gas. So you really have to hit a crucial unit in order to really have it pay off. It might be, it might be a little bit overpriced for what it is at this moment in the game, and I have a feeling they'll probably reduce the cost or alter it in some way. So if that's the case, even if that's not the case, for now, I think Widow Mines are probably really good against big, sturdy units like Ultralisks. And we'll see if if TLO does Ultras again, I told Pain User to go ahead and try out some Widow Mines and see if he can't just burrow them all over the place and then take them out in that manner. So we'll have to see what happens here, but TLO is going to go for an expansion down ramp. And Pain User is going to go for a 15cc. I don't know what these guys are talking about. We're talking about humans landing on planets and salvaging ancient artifacts. This is not the History Channel right now. Come on, guys. This is StarCraft 2. Maybe one day we'll have a StarCraft 2 documentary on the History Channel. I know National Geographic uh, did a documentary on Brood War a long time ago. It's actually really cool. You guys should check it out if you can on YouTube. But... Uh, all right, let's see, let's see what happens here. This map, I believe it's called Achilleon Wastes, and this is actually the only map that I know... Uh, hello, Pedro Rodriguez. This is the only map that I know in terms of name uh, for the new maps in StarCraft 2. I think Star Station is another cool map, actually. And uh, that one has like a full-on Diablo 3 Act 4 tile set. It's supposed to be the Protoss tile set, but it reminds me of, of Diablo 3. Um, anyways off on those tangents. What are these two players going to go for? I, I believe Pain User here is probably going to try to stick with his uh, mech-based strategy, and, and that makes a lot of sense, you know? Uh, mech is the new additions in Heart of the Swarm, so why would you play an old version, an outdated version of Bio? I'm not saying it's, it's inferior by any means, but these guys are professional players and they want to try out the new builds, they want to try out the new strategies, so uh, it makes a lot of sense here that we're going to have factory-based play coming out from Pain User. You know, one idea I think that might work out really well is, as Terran against Zerg, maybe going Marine Tank and adding in a bunch of Widow Mines into your army and putting your Widow Mines, like, in, right in front of your tanks, so uh, if you're playing against, like, something like Zergling Muta Baneling, you can pull your Marines behind your tank lines and then if they continue chasing into your tanks, then the Widow Mines will detonate. I think that might be a pretty cool idea. Um, now let's see what happens here. Let's see, TLO is breaking down the collapsible rock tower, and that will completely seal off the third expansion. So he is going to, of course, grab the hatchery first and then start to work down those rocks. There's also another set of rocks here leading down towards that expansion, so he'll want to work that down as quickly as he can. I'm bringing two queens out right now, and a total of four. We'll probably see the little one go up to six queens. Six Queens, of course, being the standard nowadays in StarCraft II, and hasn't really changed much ever since the introduction of Heart of the Swarm. Have a couple of factories coming up here for Pain User as well, double factory and a starport. <clears throat> Might see him go for the same mech-based play, but probably will open up with a Banshee once again. And Banshees have been pretty popular now against Zerg, uh, mainly because they're very good at dealing with something like a Roach Baneling all-in. So uh, it's, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and get that Banshee out so you can shut down something crazy coming at your front door. The Banshees obviously can hit everything on the ground if it comes to a Roach Baneling attack. 
Tilo just spending all this time trying to kill off these rocks, and destructible rocks still have that harder number of three, so Zergling kind of just tickles the rock when it attacks. It's more like the queens that are actually doing the real damage. But he definitely wants to break that down ASAP so that he can secure that expansion and help defend it. We also have a couple of evolution chambers coming up here for TLO and Zergling Speed. One thing we haven't seen the little one use as of yet is the Swarm Host. And uh, I wonder if he's going to go ahead and make use of that this game. It does look like he's getting a pretty quick lair. And this time around, he didn't go for... I don't think he went for triple hatch before pool. So that means that his gas intake is a lot earlier than normal. In fact, uh, he is going up for a pretty quick lair here. And uh, I'm thinking he's going to try to make use of some of the new lair units available to, uh, to, Star to, to Zerg. And that could mean the Swarm Host. We'll have to see. Banshee's now making their way out. One on the starport on the way. And a couple of Hellions controlling the middle of the map. You know, the problem nowadays in, in Terran versus Zerg, for Terran at least, this is a major problem I guess, is they can't really attack with Hellions. No matter how many they make, they'll get great map control, unless the Zerg is making roaches. But they'll get great map control, but they can't really attack into a Zerg player because of the Queens. Will that change because of Battle Hellions, though? And in fact, Pain User here is pulling a bunch of SCVs, so he's going to go for a Battle... I, I'm thinking he's going to transform these into Battle Hellions, if memory serves me correctly. And he's going to try to go for a Battle Hellion SCV attack, and this could be pretty damn effective. Tilo now sees it on the creep. He's going to try to wall off with his Queens and buildings. One Queen just gets burnt alive. And now the Hellions are going to go check the northern expansion to see if there's anything there. There's nothing. Pain user drops a comms at nothing he sees, scares him at this point. He's even got Banshees as well. And now converting all of his Hellions to battle mode. And Zerglings just die to battle Hellions. It's not even a fight. And now the battle Hellions are burning everything alive. This is Pain user's version of the fire department. And he is going in just taking everything down. And uh, at this point, what will he do? He has pretty much roasted everything alive. He's going to try to kill spine crawlers. I don't agree with that. He needs to get these Hellions next to the drones, but two of his Hellions get surrounded, not doing as much damage as he could have, trying to focus down the spine crawlers first. And I guess he really just wants to pave the way for reinforcements to come in, using the SCVs to also repair. Don't forget, guys, Pain User has to do significant damage here, considering he did lose, or he has brought a lot of SCVs off the line. And there we go. Oh, those drones just getting roasted to death. And now he's going to go for the hatchery. I don't like this idea because Tilo has so many queens here and they can transfuse the hatch. And I think Pain User realizing that is going to pull out, but uh, now going to convert them to car mode. They're much more vulnerable like this. And they are all going to die. Wow. So the attack overall kills off 12 workers. Pain User loses 6 workers. But more importantly, he loses a ton of Hellions. That had to be at least a thousand minerals worth of Hellions. So I don't think he did enough damage to really justify the cost. Although he did kill off a lot of Zerglings as well. So it's kind of hard to say, given that this is a new game and there's like all these new variables you have to consider. But uh, it might be a pretty close one right now. I think maybe Pain User and TLO are on a balanced state. We'll just have to see who, how they recover from here on out, who has a better macro, who has better crisis management, because some of the hardest parts about StarCraft 2 is recovering after taking serious amounts of damage. And I think TLO right now needs to, st he needs to inject this hatchery. These two queens are a little lazy right now. Lazy on the job queens. Uh, and th that's the thing about when you're trying to recover from, your, from, from a major attack, you might just not be uh, paying attention to your macro. And there we go, injects finally landing down. We do have Evolve Enduring Locusts on the way for TLO. He's going to go for Swarm Host, ladies and gentlemen. And the uh, Enduring Locust increased the lifetime uh, to, I believe, from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. So that's a significant upgrade here. And uh, this could be absolutely huge if Pain User is not prepared to deal with Swarm Host, and he's going to be in a lot of trouble. And uh, I think the way to deal with Swarm Host is you need air units. You need some way to take out the Swarm Host from the air because on the ground, the Locust will just absolutely demolish you. As of right now, uh, in Hot's beta, 
StarCraft 2, uh, in the Hots beta, the Swarm Host Locusts don't hit air anymore, so that is a major development. And Pain User looks like he's going to go ahead and break down the rocks over here at his third, so he's going to completely seal that off. That's really smart, too, because he definitely doesn't want to let uh, Zergling run bys occur into the space. So I really like that new, uh, that new development for uh, HOTS. You have these destructible rock towers, which can break down the rocks. And then on one of the maps, even, you even have a natural where the rocks can be broken down to 1 HP, and you leave it there. And then if your opponent tries to attack you, you can actually destroy the rocks, thereby creating a force field, if you will, and crushing every unit underneath for 500 damage. So uh, I really, really like the rock tower uh, play style and the, uh, the new doodads that have been added in for HOTS. Now, we do have the Swarm Host coming out. Love the model for the Swarm Host, by the way. They look like, they look like a diseased, leprosy... Uh, it's just a terrible, terrible creature, if you will. Uh, and no words can describe what the Swarm Host looks like. It is definitely not something I would want to meet in real life. And uh, that would actually cure me of arachnophobia if I saw something like this. And anyways, they're going to start to spawn some locusts on the field, but Pain User is pushing with a ton of units here. This is a lot of Battle Hellions, Banshees, and Thors. And uh, I guess they're not Battle Hellions yet, but the Locusts are here from the Swarm Host. That is a ton of Swarm Hosts and Queens. TLO has like eight or nine Queens here. And he is going to get a great Fungal down, a couple of ex extremely good Fungals. And once the Locusts come out, he actually needs to send the Locusts in to fight. He's not using the Locusts to fight right here. Comsat being, revealed, being used to reveal the Swarm Hosts. And now, finally, the Locusts are out on the field, and Pain User needs to run away. You never want to fight Locusts because they are just energy-based units. It doesn't get you anywhere in the game, but Pain User is locked down, and he cannot escape due to fungal growth, but it looks like his stores alone are going to be able to take out everything, but now the next round of, of Locusts have arrived, and Pain User is going to now try to retreat, but the Swarm Host and their Locusts just do so much damage. Look at how quickly they killed the Thor. Oh my god, that is not even fair. And Pain User uh, objecting, I guess, <laughs> in a very uh, loud manner to the uh, power of the Swarm Host. And they do 18 damage with plus one upgrade. So essentially, these little locusts, they're Hydralisks. They do 16 with base damage. They get plus two with every extra, um, extra upgrade. And uh, that's that's actually better than what a Hydralisk does. So those Locusts are insanely good. And now Pain User is going to have to figure out a way to combat this burrowed menace. What is he going to go for, though? I think, you know, a lot of starports with Banshees would be a good idea. But the problem is TLO is going to back up his Banshe uh, his, uh, his Swarm Host with Queens. And with so many Queens on the field, I don't know how he's going to be able to come in here with air attacks to take out these Swarm Hosts. TLO is coming in with everything here. He's got so many Swarm Hosts burrowed underground. He's going to start to send them wherever he wants, and he is going to contain the Terran player on three bases. Look at how many Swarm Hosts he's got. He's slowly, slow pushing his way up to the Terran front door, and Pain User needs Siege Tanks right now. Siege Tanks are another way you can deal with Swarm Hosts. Just try to splash them down before they get to your front door, but the Locusts are beginning to attack. Hellions have transformed into battle mode, but there are so many Locusts here. I don't know if you can win this type of war of attrition. You're not doing real damage to the enemy's actual, like, units. You're just doing damage to their underlings, and that never is going to be a winning battle for you. Pain User needs to figure out a way to take out these Swarm Hosts. This is going to require absolutely intense micro decision-making awareness. If he makes one wrong move, I don't know how he's going to be able to hold this off. And look at all these Locusts running up. They're going to be able to snipe out Thors if they want to. They're going to take one out on the way up. And Pain User now has set up his siege tank line. He's got a lot of tanks. But is it enough to stop this many swarm hosts? TLO right now, ladies and gentlemen, is maxed on swarm hosts. If you look at the units tab, he's got 25 of them, 92 drones, and that's pretty much it, and 14 queens. The queen's obviously just here for anti-air defense. He's spread his creeps so far across the map with these queens as well, he's going to start to make a grid of spines and spores. And now the rocks are under attack at the same time. 
TLO is such a clever player. This is absolutely insane, and this is exactly what you'd expect from a player of the Little One's creativity and caliber. He is going in with the Swarm Host on the third now. He's going to start to apply Siege over to this third expansion, and this is going to stretch Pain User quite thin. He needs to set up tanks on the right and on the left, and he needs to at the same time figure out a way to push out and break this contain. I cannot believe it. We have a Zerg player containing a Terran player, for God's sakes. And the little one now, it looks like on the left-hand side, looking a little shallow. Pain User trying to take advantage of that, getting down to the low ground and starting to break out the spines and spores before they can deploy. But now the Locusts have redirected themselves down to the south and are going to start to apply siege to the tanks. Man, Pain User is on the thinnest of ice right now. It looks like TLO is going to give up a little bit of ground and back up his Swarm Host just a little bit just so he doesn't get hit by those siege tanks and it was a good idea by him but it looks like pain user might be gaining a little territory here but he's got to be careful not to lose his tanks every unit so valuable right now pulling the tanks back just in the nick of time more swarm hosts coming out for tlo he is not going to give up on this contain game so many locusts on the field at 2-2 doing 20 damage per spit of their acid spikes and they're going to take out continually take out these tanks and Pain User right now is just trying to find a way to get some breathing room. It looks like he might be pushing the Swarm Hosts back. This is absolutely incredible, but he's got to be careful. He's going to lose a lot of tanks. Two tanks for free. And the problem here is that TLO is just banking resources right now, ladies and gentlemen. And Pain User is having to expend every dime, every ounce of his uh, of his banked uh, Vespine and minerals, every ounce of energy just for survival. Whereas TLO is just the boa constrictor right now, just attacking, but at the same time just chilling. He could be chilling at his keyboard right now, waiting to get a greater spire up for brute lords. And that's the crazy thing because once even a Pain User breaks through all of this, how is he going to deal with the bank of TLO? I don't know. That is a lot of swarm hosts, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like with the tanks and all their firepower combined, they are going to be able to push TLO back. TLO concedes. He gives up the middle ground and it's going to fall back to Pain User, but by no means does that mean he's lost the war because he's got 4K, 4K, 4K. <laughs> and everybody knows in war, economy is the most important thing. You take out the op opponent's economy, then you will win the war. That's how war is always played, and that's how StarCraft II is played. We have a Greater Spire on the way now. Swarm hosts are still going to continue shooting Locusts just from a uh, further distance, more protected back there they are. And now the Locust is going to come in. Pain User not sieged up at the front line, going to lose a few tanks once again. And things are getting really dicey here for the Terran player. Oh man, the Locusts are just so damn fun to use, and they're so awesome to see. And now we have four Vipers on the way. I guess TLO is making crawlers and buildings to go over supply right now. Ladies and gentlemen, he's at 209 over 200. How clever is that? And uh, I guess Painties are finally able to get a little bit of breathing room in the middle of the field. Congratulations there. That's a big... Uh, come up for pain user who has also been able to secure an expansion down to the bottom left hand corner This is his lifeblood his his only vital source of of money and he needs to keep it alive He's gonna once again engage this the locust losing a couple of tanks at the front lines and Pain user, you know not doing too bad even though TLO has got a massive bank for pain user to have broken out of that swarm host contain that required serious mental energy I mean right now Pain user is playing. Um, he's playing a game against the, the 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 Zerg swarm, and this is almost like Starship Troopers, man. He is under the fortress. He's trying to protect himself from the constant swarm of Zerg. But all of a sudden, TLO, the Zerg player, has evolved a new strain of units, and now he's able to yank the tanks away, and that is going to cause problems all of itself. Can Pain user hold the line as? Starship Troopers, Rico's Roughnecks against this many Zerg units. Oh, I don't know. This is getting really dicey. Look at how much locust blood there is on the ground, but the Zerg can forever regenerate that. Looks like a lot of Vikings coming out here, so Pain User will be able to push away the Vipers. 
and uh, he is well aware, I suppose, of the Broodlord tech switch as well. Let's take a look. Finally getting a glance back into the main. Yes, he sees the Greater Spire on the way, a great comm sat by him, so he knows Broodlords are coming. Pain user is also pretty close to being maxed out himself, so he's been doing a pretty good job pushing out here, but he needs another expansion. There is an available one down to the southwest corner of the map. He can get that expansion if he wants to. Creep spread is starting to make its way down there as well, so that is a problem. Now the Locusts redirecting themselves up to the north where there is no units. Pain user needs to get some forces over there to help defend. The Locust lifetime will expire, though. And now Pena's are actually sending a small contingent of forces down to the bottom. I think he's going to try to get some uh, some harass in here, but I don't know if he realizes that uh, that <laughs> TLO has 3.5k, 7k. I wonder where he spent most of his money. It must have been on more swarm hosts. We also have five Nidus networks on the way. What is going on? There are five Nidus networks coming up here for TLO. And it looks like this small attack force might just get surrounded by a bunch of locusts. Wherever you go, whether it's defending or offense, the locusts will follow you to the end of your grave. Now, Pain User, will he be able to take out this hatchery? That would be absolutely huge! Can he get the hatchery kill? The queens are coming in for transfuses! And he gets the hatchery with the last dying breath of his siege tanks. Very nice job right there, but... At the end of the day, was it worth it? He lost a lot of tanks, and he killed off a hatchery that wasn't really mining already. It, it ran out of money, at, uh, and it, I don't know if that was actually worth it, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, usually you want to take out hatcheries that are fresh, that have a lot of money to be made. Now, what is TLO going to do with these five Nidus networks? He is loading up all of his swarm hosts inside. Meanwhile, a huge move out by Pain User who sees that the swarm hosts have given up the location in the middle, but what he doesn't realize is there are Nidus worms coming up all over his base! Oh my god, and Broodlords are morphing inside of his base as well! The Nidus worms have revealed themselves, and Pain User is in so much trouble! He needs to pull everything back home right now! The swarm hosts are gonna burrow themselves inside the base and if he had problems dealing with swarm hosts on the outside how is he going to save himself on the inside this is like an attack from your internal body this is like a parasitic disease a virus if you will it has penetrated under his skin and now he's decided well Screw my body, my body isn't my temple. I'm just gonna go and kill your body. He's gonna go for the host, and he's gonna try to get these Nidus Worms first so that the Zerg units cannot retreat. I think it is a full-on base race, ladies and gentlemen. And if he can kill off all these Nidus Worms, then he knows that the Zerg units are pretty much stuck here for some time before they can retreat. He's also, he's got units all over the place attacking TLO. There is still two Nidus Worms left. If he can break this last Nidus Worm, he needn't worry about these units retreating. But it doesn't look like TLO is going to retreat. TLO, I think he should. I think he should send some units back. That way he can save himself from being exterminated in a base race situation. But Pain User is going to find that last Nidus Worm, and he is going to be able to take it down. So down it goes. And finally, TLO says, oh, I should have retreated my units back, but it's a little too late. However, he does have two Swarm Hosts underground. If Pain User doesn't scan, he's going to lose all these tanks. He's not retreating either. Pain User in too much, uh, just doing too many things right now because there are Swarm Hosts attacking his main base. Oh my god, that Siege Tank has one HP. It will probably die to this next round of Locusts. And this tank is in the wrong neighborhood. Goodbye. That tank was also in the wrong hood. And now Pain User says, all right, all right, I'm going to pull back now, and I'm going to defend my last mining base down here in the bottom left-hand corner, but TLO has already carved out the main. He's transformed it into his Zerg playground. It's Char on the, north, no, the northwest corner, and now he's sending all of his Zerg, Zerg units down to the bottom left, and Pain User once again in a situation where he's contained. He has to be able to take out all of these swarm hosts. He's got a lot of money to play with, but not enough production. 3.8k, 1k gas. He's actually richer than than uh, TLO is, if you will, if you don't consider the gas, I guess. Um, but how can he get his production ramped up in order to defend one base? Especially considering all these swarm hosts are burrowed just outside of it. He does have a planetary fortress. He's now moving his orbitals, trying to make units out of his t uh, factories that are remaining from that Nidus attack. And uh, this game is just insane, ladies and gentlemen. TLO 
is now making a brood lord as well. It's just a constant swarm of cheap, easy to produce, uh, infinite units out of the swarm hosts and the brood lords. And now it looks like he's going to go ahead and send his brood lords down to the bottom right hand side. I like that idea. He's thinking here that the tanks will be exposed, and he's right. And now he's going to burrow those swarm hosts on the right hand side. Oh, this is such a hard expansion to hold because he's got to wall off both angles, and I don't know if he'll be able to. The locusts are coming out. Will TLO send them in? There we go. And these tanks are in so much trouble. He's going to lose maybe all the tanks here. And a Brute Lord also raining down Brutelings from above. This could be all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, Pain User dropping uh, a commsat down to try to pick out the Swarm Host at his front door. But there's so many Swarm Hosts down to the bottom right. The Queens are also coming in at the same time. It's an attack against the Zer the Terran. And Pain User has nothing to hold off. This is the Starship Troopers Fortress. The Zerg is swarming in from all sides. And that has got to be it. He's going to lose a Planetary. And at this point, it's got to be GG. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what do they feed these things? Oh man, that was insane. That was an absolutely incredible game of StarCraft II Heart of the Storm. I hope you guys enjoyed. They are going to play another game here, a third and final game between Pain User and TLO. And uh, please don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. That third game will be coming up next. This is HD StarCraft, signing out.